All right, looks like my spring is here and we're gonna be opening it up. If you're wondering what this spring is for, it's meant to get rid of the uh, vague clutch feel of the Z or any G car with a manual transmission because from the manufacturer, these cars have a very vague engagement point. With it installed, it will give the pedal a more progressive feel where you feel the clutch more and more as you raise the clutch pedal towards the resting points. But most importantly, it'll get rid of the second and the third gear hesitation when you pick up. Also, it will also uh, help with, you know, any needless clutch slipping while trying to find your engagement point with your feet. And if you're wondering where you can find this thing, you could simply just go to any Nissan or Z4 and find uh, the user J Solo. You can also find him on eBay by simply typing 370Z clutch helper spring or G37 clutch helper spring and he'll probably pop up. To replace the helper spring, we are going to be looking at the car here where the clutch pedal is and that's where the helper spring is over here, the yellow mark spring right there. My understanding is that this thing that Nissan put in the car is rated at 200 plus pounds and we want it at 70-ish. And that's what the new spring is. So the first thing that you want to take out is this clip right here on the bottom right of the uh, spring. And it is securing the pin into that spring loaded uh, canvas. So that's how the uh, clip looks like. It's technically a C clip, so of course, if I could zoom this thing in. And I can because the camera is focused onto that yellow spring. Out, the next thing you want to do is to use your needle nose, the side of it, anyways, to push the spring out so I can use the needle nose on the other side to pull it out. So, with one hand, I'm going to use to push the clutch pedal back, and then the other hand, I'm going to use the needle nose to pull the uh, pin out. With the pin out, then you're just gonna have to pull the uh, spring assembly like that. Once the spring assembly is out, then you just reassemble it with the new spring with the top and the center like that. And don't forget the smaller spring on the top, the smaller spring jumped out when I uh, released everything, but that smaller spring is supposed to go up there like that. So push the clutch back so that you can load the new spring in there. The new spring will hesitate to go because of the amount of force that it is pushing out. So what I do is I use a screwdriver to lift it up and load it into place. So here's me loading the pin back into the hole. And this thing is really tricky because when I take it out I kind of mess or like leave some uh, texture onto the pin so it's hard it's harder for the pin to slide back in but here I'm using two needle nose one is to adjust the hole so that the pin will fit through it and the other one to push and this is kind of very little room but it shouldn't be that hard just have patience and wiggle it here and there a little bit here and there push it push the pedal if you have to pushing the pedal will loosen up the uh, spring a little Having less force working against you will probably help you more. So with the pin completely uh, loaded in like that, then all you need to do is just put the C-clip back onto the pin and you're good to go. Definitely pick up better.
definitely pick up better. Reverse. 